Hello everyone and welcome to another home theater review. Today we're going to be talking about The Dark Tower and I am joined by Riley. He is joining us at, for the first time today. He is a movie lover as myself. Uh, Riley, why don't you tell everybody what your favorite movie is? To... My favorite movie is yeah. Anchorman. <laughs> Anchorman. Alright, good choice. <laughs> okay, but we'll try to keep this short because they're faster to upload. I like how the sun's glaring down. It kind of looks like holy. <laughs> Okay, so today we saw The Dark Tower. We just got out of the movie theaters to see it. We're still in the parking lot. And uh, what do you think of it, Riley? Let's start off with you. I thought it was very interesting. I did not really have high hopes for it. Really? It surprised me. Yeah? Did you uh, did you like it? Where would you rate it like on a scale of all the movies you've seen this year? Uh, top three. Top three? Yeah. Dang, all right. Would you go to see it, the second one, if they make the second one? Yes. Okay. It was very interesting. All right. So, my thing with it, I did like it a lot. This was one of my most anticipated movies of the year, because I like the books a lot. And one thing I will say, it's nothing like the books. It's com it's like, it's like a span of one, three, four, and eight <laughs> made into the first movie. So that's one thing I did not like about it. Another thing I didn't like about it is I don't want to spoil it, but there's a part where someone dies and a character is just like, oh no! And then they're like, all right, <laughs> I guess I'll just go kill him instead. <laughs> and it's just it's just like, okay, you could have showed a little more reaction to that. And it kind of happens again, and the second time it's a little more understandable why there's not a reaction, but it's like, still they're just like, oh dang. All right, what's next? <laughs> I liked all the, the Stephen King Easter eggs. Yeah, that was really cool. There was a Cujo Easter egg, a Shining Easter egg, yeah. an It Easter egg. Yeah, I think it would be so cool if they connected all the Stephen King movies and yeah, like made crazy. it into like a King universe. I think that'd be really cool. Some things I did like about it, I loved the humor whenever uh, the gunslinger was coming, when he came to Earth and he was like, do you still have talking animals yeah. and stuff like that? That we, was really funny. The hot dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh. And another thing I liked about it is I really liked Matthew McConaughey as the man in black. I you liked him as the villain. Well. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting anything good because all I was thinking was like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like be intimidated by Matthew McConaughey. But he was pretty good as the man in black. But all in all, I would probably rate it a 7.8 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10. Uh, it wasn't as good to me as. War for the Planet of the Apes wasn't as good as Dunkirk, wasn't as good as Guardians. I think I'd rate it a little higher than Wonder Woman, but like a little lower than Spider-Man. That's where I would rate it. Spider-Man review was pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do a Spider-Man review because I didn't start my channel then, but uh, I did enjoy Spider-Man a lot. But anyway, uh, I am doing The Legend of Zelda still right now. I think I'm about halfway through the game. And the next movie we'll be reviewing, or I'll be reviewing, depends on where with me or not, will... I, I don't really know, to tell you the truth. Probably, I think we might start the X-Men series next. That's what I'll probably be starting next. And the next movie theater movie, ooh. It will probably be The Inhumans, because that's coming out in the first week. Dude, I want to see uh, Flatliners. Flatliners does look good. There's a whole bunch of movies. I still want to see It. I want to see Flatliners. I want to see Kingsman 2. I want to see, what? The Atomic Blonde. Atomic Blonde did look good. I didn't get to go see that yet. That movie, Kidnap, that looks pretty good. Yeah, Kidnap looked good. Um, i trying to think. Star Wars Lost Jedi still comes out this year. Thor 3, Murder on the Orient Express, uh, Justice League. We so could, many more movies are coming out this year that we have to go we see. Right now, we could always just go see the Emoji movie. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I wouldn't, I, no. Or, or Girls Trip. <laughs> my aunt invited me to go see that movie tomorrow, and I'm like... <laughs> what, Girls Trip? No, uh, Emoji uh, movie. I was about to say. <laughs> and I was like, uh, no, I have plans tomorrow. I have to uh, I work. Go, I change my <laughs> <laughs> I gotta change my feet. It's awesome, though. She's the man. I haven't seen that movie forever. Oh, gosh, but I'm just dragging on now. But anyway, the next movie will probably... I'll probably start the X-Men series, but the next review will probably be either Lego Dimensions or The Legend of Zelda. I have not decided yet. But anyway, this was a review for The Dark Tower. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, leave a comment if you go to see this movie, and leave a like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.